Merry Christmas and Happy New Year for all nations, Old and New Testament ministry, Lower Pakistan and USA. And also Happy Hanukkah all over the world that this virgin birth, the Lord Jesus Christ, who born by the Mary, this is amazing virgin birth by the Holy Spirit. This is the one and the only in mankind ever happened to place that the Savior was born through the Holy Spirit help and by God that He is the Savior of the world that everyone will be saved by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ whosoever believe in Him and have everlasting life. And this is the most entire ever gift given to us by the Lord Jesus Christ that Son is given to us. So this is what we celebrate in Christmas. But obviously, Happy Hanukkah. So I also want to tell my friends, rabbis, that wish them really, really Happy Hanukkah. But at the same time, I want to talk to them as they do not believe in their book of Tanakh, that there is no Holy Spirit, and also in the New Testament. So I want to tell them and bring my presentation that yes, there is Holy Spirit in the book of Tanakh, and obviously the New Testament as we believe that. If we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. So please, those rabbis, you need to see that so you know that how you, in the world you are talking about that there is no Holy Spirit, which is right from the book of Genesis, we see that the Holy Spirit's work right there. So, and at the same, same time, I also want to talk about the Sam Harris and of course the, the Mr., uh, we call it the one who wrote the book, uh, The God Delusion, the Richard Dawkins that how they are bringing the atheism and how they're talking about the Christianity and how they always talk about the work of God and all this that they deny and all this. So gonna have something for them too. And at the same time, I also wanna talk about the Zachar Naik, how he take the Bible's verses, the quotation from the Bible and use for their prophet, uh, peace be upon him, prophet Muhammad. So please, Mr. Zakir Naik, don't misguide the world and don't misguide your own Muslim people. Please tell them the truth. Don't take the word from the Bible and then try to use those words that, as you said that in your presentation, so many of them that, you know, those words or those quotations are for the Prophet, be peace be upon him, Prophet Muhammad. So please stop that. So we'll have those presentations also that where we will talk about that how there is no way, no possibility ever will be that those words of the Bible will be used by anyone for any of their prophet and all this. So with this, I really thank you so much for your time and all this. God bless you.